Sam Stringer is an alumni of the Fashion and Design Technology Program at KPU Wilson School of Design. Natanya Castillo will now ask her about her experience at KPU. When did you join the KPU community and why? Well, I started back in 2012 as a student, so that was kind of the introduction to Kwantlen. I had heard about Kwantlen actually from a university fair. Um, I'm from the island, I'm from Victoria, and I was like, yeah, I'm gonna go to fashion school, I'm gonna go to New York, I'm gonna go to London. Like, um, I had an offer from a school in London and I was all ready to go. And then I went to this university fair and I heard about Kwantlen. I was like, oh, okay, this sounds really good. This is a degree. This is in Vancouver, which has an awesome fashion industry that was like booming. Um, so yeah, I went over for some interviews and applied. And honestly, like as soon as I saw what was going on there, I love the London school, but no, Kwantlen kind of won out for that one. So started in 2012, did my four-year bachelor's in fashion technology. And then, yeah, shortly after graduating, a couple months later, I came back to work. So I was the program assistant in fashion for a couple of years. And then I ended up uh, moving up to lab coordinator for the Wilson School of Design um, for my last couple of years there. So that's how it all started. What is your favorite story of your time at KPU? So it could be with a staff or a student. There's like, there's literally so many. Um, I think my favorite one was um, when I had just started working as a staff member there um, in fashion program, we actually had this team building workshop um, at a ropes course in Langley. Wow. Um, you know, one of those like super high, like, you're strapped in and you're like climbing trees and you're jumping across bridges and like trusting each other. And it was this whole team building day that was terrifying and so much fun. Like I never thought I could be so bruised from one day. Um, and we got like so close with, um, you know, our, our colleagues, like with the faculty and with the other staff. And I just will distinctly always remember like, my colleague like going up a 30 foot tree and just like I did it and all of us like yeah so, it, was, it was a fun one what's something you'd like to say to people new to the KPU community I'm gonna sound like a broken record because I say this all the time but like connect with everybody everyone is your best resource a hundred percent like the people that I connected with not only like my fellow students, but like the teachers, the the staff there, like, yeah, still work with them to this day. Anytime I have a project, I can just be like, yo, guys, we need to, I need some help with this. Who would you recommend? And like, they've become some of my best friends. I felt very welcomed through the whole process of being a student there, being, uh, you know, staff there. And I think that if you take that time to just get to know everybody, like, hey, who's the person who's like, you get to see at the cafeteria every day. Like we became besties. We're like the facilities guys who are like wizards. And anytime you need something, like they will help you. Like, it's just cool to just stay connected to everybody. And many years later, like it's been a while and uh, yeah, still, still connected with them. What are you working on right now? Uh, I'm actually working on a project for KPU. Surprise. Mm -hmm. um, so I uh, had the, Honor of um, updating some of the regalia for uh, the president and the new chancellor last year. So I made um, hood pieces and uh, these really elaborate robes um, to kind of, you know, modernize the regalia. And so I'm doing kind of an extended portion of that project right now for uh, the honorary degree recipients at Kwantlen. So uh, still in progress, can't show you anything but it's going to be pretty cool. And then um, that's what I do for Kwantlen. And then on my own, all these guys back here are some samples. I'm actually working on a bikini line. Uh, so something totally different. <laughs> what is something you would like people to know about you? Uh, well, I kind of just broke into it a bit, but I like, I work remotely, uh, which I think is pretty cool. And this is something that I don't know would have happened as much pre pandemic. And I know everyone's so used to working from home right now, but a lot of people think you can't do that if you're in a trade, um, but it's actually been working out really well. Like I do hands-on stuff. I make things for people and I do that remotely now. So even though I'm in a different city, 
I'm able to still like do fittings and make pieces and just kind of do this and Skype with people and be like, here, I'll show this on. And you tell me if you want that extended at all. And so, you know, don't let it dishearten you if, uh, if the pandemic, if you're doing something hands-on, I think it's pretty cool that I can still work for Kwantlen and, uh, and do these pieces from another city.